A, most of you know that I use bulkresizephotos.com to convert or compress my images into WebP. I'm a big fan of WebP, by the way, uh, if you want to make your website load faster. But did you know that TinyPNG that I used to use to convert my images into smaller PNG or JPEG files does have a plugin for WordPress. And about five months ago, they added the facility for it to also convert to WebP. Now that one passed me by. I didn't hear a lot about that. I wanna test it against the same images using bulk resize photos and using the plugin in WordPress and just go, how quick is it? And how um, good is it at converting down to WebP? So let's do that. Let's go over to bulkresizephotos.com. Okay, and I'm going to add into here 64 three images. So let's just go down here. You will notice though the images, some of them are quite small and some of them go all the way up to three, you know, megabytes in size. So let's just take all of those images. Let's hit open. I'm going to set the quality of this to be 100%. We're going to go for a WebP format. Sorry, the size is 100%. WebP format and the quality is 80% because that's kind of okay for WebP. Let's hit start. This is probably going to take a bit of time, but I'll let you know when I when we come back. That took about 32 seconds. So we've got 63 images, a total of just under 98 megabytes, and it's converted it down into 25. Now you could argue, well, that's not a huge amount of difference there, but please bear in mind it's, it's shaved off a quarter of the size. So some of these images have not shrunk down by a huge amount. They've gone down to 1.5 megabytes, which is still pretty hefty in my opinion. However, when you look at the information about this image, and I hope you can see it here, this is a client photo and it is like 3,000 by 4,000 pixels. Like, come on here, right? And obviously when you get this into your WordPress uh, media library, I would probably scale this down and maybe a bit of cropping or something. So the size will definitely shrink. But I just wanted to show you what is the difference between bulkresizephotos.com and the app. Right, if we go over to our plugins over here, this is the test website, by the way, and we go to add new. I'm going to do a search for tiny PNG. Now, one of the drawbacks to tiny PNG online was you can only do 20 images at any one time. Do you remember that? You go to tinypng.com, you drop images in, you can't do more than 20. I just did 63 images in bulkresizephotos.com and it was absolutely fine. So look, WebP image conversion. Let's hit uh, install and we'll activate that. And once it's activated, we are going to add in all 63 images. Is it going to let us do it? How long does it take? And what about the size conversion there? So we can already see April, that image was 1.5 megabytes. Let's just go down to tiny PNG over here and let's go into, right. So if we go to settings for this, it's basically saying, do you want to register a new, oh, okay. So you've got to register or provide an API key to start compressing images. Now, before I sign up, I am gonna say that I wanna compress new images during upload, um, rather than them being done in the background, because I think that it's better to, as you upload, let it do it, and then you know it's good to go on your website. I don't like, I, they do say that this is the fastest method, but this could cause some issues with some plugins. So to play safe, I'm gonna say compress it when I upload. Uh, we'll do all of those sizes, select image sizes to be compressed. Yeah, we'll leave all that. Resize, I'm not going to do any resize. I'll do that manually myself when I come to get into WordPress Media Library, preserve creation day. We'll leave, uh, I'm not overly fussed about that. Right, I'm going to save the changes, but I am also going to register an account. So let's do that. So you get an email, you click it to verify, and it then takes you here to a dashboard and says your API account is now ready to use. So if I go back over to the website here, I'm just going to click refresh on here and it's now saying the account is connected. So that was, I have to say, I didn't like the fact that you got to register, but then again, it's kind of done it quite seamlessly and quickly, right? So I'm not overly fussed, but I did notice here, it says the word upgrade account. I want to just have a quick look at this because what do we need to even upgrade? So I'm going to go over here and go, well, what is the, right, so here we go. First 500 compressions each month. In fact, let me just move myself out the way here because I'm in the way. Here we go. So can you see now it says first 500 compressions are free per month. After that, you've got to pay the next nine and a half are that is a really ridiculously low cost, okay? I'm telling you now, 
that is a ridiculous low cost. And look, if I say, I mean, okay, it's low cost, but it kind of jumps up a bit there. But if I, if I was to go to say one pound ish, just under 600 compressions, that's going to cost me 90 cents or I don't know, about 80 pence in UK conversion. That is really, really low. I'm actually going to stick to the free one for now. I don't see myself adding more than 500 even on a test website. But please do bear in mind there is a cost attached to this. Okay, let's just close that down. Let's now go over to adding in some images. So I'm going to go to my library and I'm now going to add new. Okay, bear in mind this is a test website. How long is it going to take to add 63 images? Okay, so we're going to go to select file. And I am now going to pick up all of these original images. In fact, I just wanted to have a check. April, which still converted it. Oh, okay, 1.9, 1.5. Right, okay. So let's just add all of these images. Open. And how long does that take? I'll let you know. Hey, we're back. And um, that took <laughs> 14 minutes. Now, I could have gone for the option where it loads it in the background, but if you wanted to scale or crop your images, I'd want them to be uploaded fully first and WebP converted before I scale and crop them. But that was 14 minutes. It's a ridiculously slow time. Okay, I I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. So here's the thing about the image. When I've opened it up, it's not giving me the WebP format. It's giving me the JPEG format. So what it's done is it's taken it from a PNG or it's scaled it down, which means I'm not now getting the WebP format, which has me a little bit, I have to say, uh, annoyed a little bit. So look, if I go back to so say this image here, it it's it it is shrunken the size, but it's not giving me the. I mean, I'm obviously seeing the WebP format, but if I try to download it, I'm going to get the PNG. So I'm a little bit. How shall I put it? I'm just a little bit surprised. So I have to be honest, I am really, really confused. Has it actually done it or not? Because look, I click over here, it is still saying PNG. But I know that when I add in an image from, let me show you, if I just go over to my downloads folder and I get uh, one of these, um, the ones I did with bulkresizephotos.com, if I go and drag in, say, uh, let's just drag it in over here, this image that's now going to upload, Oops, not that one, sorry. Here, that is WebP. So the tiny PNG says it's gone and converted it. I can see the size has gone down on some of those images. So look, we have it over here, right? It's gone down to 67 kilobytes. If we go over here, it's 86, but it's, you know, so this 86 one is the tiny PNG version. So the tiny PNG version is bigger. So 1242 by 692, right? If we go here, it's still the same size, but the, sorry, let me do this properly. The bulk resize photos is a smaller size. You can see that there, 67 kilobytes, okay? And the tiny PNG plugin is a little bit bigger. However, can you see here, it still says JPEG. So if I was to make a copy of this image, Am I getting the WebP or am I getting the JPEG? It's a little bit confusing, but I honestly, I'm going to put my, I am going to say now that if I was to now take all of those 63 images, okay, that uh, have already been converted into WebP and I drop them into, well, sorry, 61 images into the WordPress media library, now dragged in the bulk resizephotos.com images, and I deactivated tiny PNG so it didn't start to try and do the conversion again. It took nearly just, just over two minutes to move all 61 images over. So let me just now kind of summarize what, what I'm trying to say about bulkresizephotos.com and the tiny PNG plugin. The bulkresizephotos.com plugin took uh, 32 seconds to convert into WebP. And then it took just over two minutes. You're looking at about two and a half minutes to convert and then for you to drag that into your WordPress media library, two and a half minutes. The tiny PNG took oh, just over 14 minutes. Two and a half minutes versus 14 minutes. You do the maths there. Secondly, the WebP seemed to be converting them to be um, a little bit smaller than the tiny PNG. And this is something I've said before. I find that installed plugins don't seem to have the power or the oomph as much as, say, using a website to do the conversion. 
So the bulk resize photo.com was quicker and it converted them into WebP with a slightly smaller size as well. And then the last thing was that I wasn't entirely convinced it had even done it properly because bulk resize photos.com, when you look at them in the media library, their extension is WebP. The tiny PNG images, you can see the size has gone down, but they still have JPEG or PNG at the end of them. So if you were to then like get the URL for that image, and you then like want to get a copy of that image because you've lost the original copy, you're going to get back a JPEG PNG copy. Now, is that going to like fall foul of say the next generation image file types when you do page speed insights? So I'm feeling like if you have a website where you have people uploading images like a directory website or multiple authors, and they're not following the rules over WebP images, Using the tiny PNG plugin could be a good thing. However, the time it takes to convert an upload is shockingly badly poor, in my opinion, with the, with the time it takes. 14 minutes, 14 minutes or 61 images. Can't even get my words out, can I? But bulkresizephotos.com, you do it, and then you upload them in, and away you go. And I just think that from an efficiency point of view, I'm going to keep using bulkresizephotos.com. Tiny PNG, it's a decent solution. Just bear in mind, you will start paying when you use more than 500 images per month. But hey, go with what suits you. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And keep web peeing. Web peeing. Sounds rude, but web peeing. -ing -ing. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. No shame, there's no time for the pain, with the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.